To do the YMCA cycle ergometer test, first adjust the seat post to the client's height. Placing it at hip height is usually a good start, but further adjustment might be necessary. Next, calibrate the cycle ergometer. Make sure the client's feet are off the pedals and adjust the gauge so that the marks both line up at zero. Now let's figure out at what heart rate we will stop the test. Calculate 85% of the client's heart rate max. Here we determined that 85% of the client's heart rate max was 170 beats per minute. Now the test is terminated when they come within 10 beats of that 85% heart rate max, so we subtract 10 beats, making the cutoff 160 beats per minute. To make the test run more smoothly, do the math so that you know what a 10 second count should have. In this case, 160 beats per minute is equal to 27 beats in a 10 second count. Now let's start the test. Have the client jump on the bike and get them to start pedaling at 50 RPMs. At the same time, set the ergometer workload to 0.5 kilopons and then press the start button on the stopwatch. Have the client pedal for 3 minutes and record the heart rate during the last 15 seconds of minute 1, of minute 2, and of minute 3. Now if steady state heart rate was achieved, that means less than 5 beats per minute variance between heart rate 2 and heart rate 3, then use the average to determine the client's second workload. Note that if steady state heart rate was not achieved, then extend the test minute by minute until it is. In this case, their heart rate put them in the 2 kilopon category. So increase the workload to 2 kilopons, restart the stopwatch, and have them pedal for another 3 minutes. This time only take their heart rate in the last 15 seconds of minute 2 and of minute 3. Now keep increasing the workload every 3 minutes until the client reaches their heart rate cutoff. When they do reach this cutoff, it's important to remember that they must finish the last workload completely in order for it to count. Now use the final two heart rates from the last workload to determine SM2, and then use the final two heart rates from the second last workload to determine SM1. Input those numbers into formula 2, and then use formula 3 to estimate their VO2 max.